I'm Lois, and I am the proud mother of Beth, who lives in a WJCS group home. She's lived there for about 14 years. Beth was born with a rare genetic syndrome called 9P minus syndrome. At that time, there were only 20 known cases in the world. When she was finally diagnosed by a genetic counselor, the future for her looked very bleak. The 20 children were all raised in institutional settings. We were terrified about her future. Obviously, nobody lives forever. We knew that we would have to find a place for her to live so that she would be safe and well cared for when we were no longer able to do so. And also, we wanted her to have a fuller life than we could provide for her at home as she got older. The day that I left Beth at the group home was both extremely painful and wonderful at the same time. I knew that this was a gift to her. However, she had been with us for 27 years. And in many ways, she was still a little girl. And we knew that we were entrusting an agency and staff that we did not know with her life. Beth has a full, meaningful, and wonderful life. She has grown in ways that we never thought possible. She is happy. She feels very loved. She is active all the time. And one day, about five years down the road, I looked at her and I thought to myself, she's not a little girl anymore. She takes responsibility for her life. She makes her own lunch. She cleans her room, she does her laundry, and the staff has a way of approaching things so that she never feels inadequate about the many things that she cannot do and never will be able to do. They empower her to do as much as she can, and as a result of that, her self-esteem, her confidence have soared. WJCS group homes give individuals with disabilities the opportunity to live a life that is as independent and fulfilling as possible. And that is something that every person, no matter what her or his disability might be, deserves to have. The other day, she spontaneously said to me, don't worry, everybody here loves me. And it's true.